Today I'm going to be showing you melee weapon damage scaling. If you want to play a melee based build in Starfield, then this info is very important. We're going to see how high can we push our melee weapon damage. For today's video, I will be using the strongest melee weapon I can possibly find. The Varun Pain Blade is the hardest hitting melee weapon in the game. You can find these in level 75 zones. I have an advanced one. This is a tier 4 Varun Pain Blade. I also have the mod Anti-Personnel, which is plus 10% damage against humans. This is pretty good. This is also very hard to find. I haven't found anything stronger than this for melee weapons. And yes, I wanted to test a weapon without a bunch of crazy mods that light people on fire and stuff because we're looking for pure damage numbers. So right now, this character has no nothing in combat. They don't have dueling. They don't have melee. They don't have anything. And I'm going to slowly level up all of these abilities and show you just how crazy the damage gets. So here is the damage with no specs at all. Now, a light attack is just three little attacks here. Headshots do deal more damage. There's also the heavy attack with the V key. I don't know what it is in consoles, but it's a much slower, more powerful attack. And your damage does not scale on character level. It only scales from the, uh, what is this? Uh, hold on. The skills that you choose. So to scale damage, we'll be picking dueling and other things on just around the tree here to try to pump as much damage as possible. We also have consumables that we will also be testing they will, uh, like the CQBX will increase melee damage. These buffs do not stack with each other. So I can't take a, a CQB and I also can't stack it with uh, Whiteout for 25% more damage. They don't work. They don't work together. It just overrides one or the other, unfortunately. Here are the damage numbers with dueling level 1 and dueling level 3. Pretty significant boost, if I do say so myself, especially for light attacks. It almost doubles our damage for only three skill points. That's really, really good. And dueling does give other bonuses, especially when you get it to level four. Level four melee kills heal you for 10%, which is not bad, I guess. And uh, yeah, pretty good. I want to point out that um, either armor penetration, the armor penetration perk does not do anything for melee weapons, or it's simply because I didn't mean to get into a cutscene here. Um, <laughs> Um, or it means that my companion that I'm using as a target dummy simply does not have any armor on them. Should be a real shame, but down she goes. One shot. Finally, here's the damage numbers with Dueling 3 and Isolation 4. Now, here's a quick tip for Isolation. If you have a party member following you around, it does not activate. However, all you have to do is talk to your NPC, tell them to wait. And it doesn't matter, apparently, if you have uh, crew members on your ship or not. If, you, if you're on foot, the crew members on your ship do not matter because I have an active crew and the talent is activated. As you can see here, I'm going to light attack Sarah here for 282. I'm going to tell her to continue to let's get moving. Sounds good. So we go from 282 back down to 201. Therefore, it was activated. Isolation is a very powerful perk when you have a weapon. And he here is Isolation, in case you don't know what it does. 40% weapon damage, you gain 60 damage resistance per equipment. You can wear three pieces of equipment. It's 180 damage resistance, which honestly isn't that much. It really doesn't make a difference late game at all. You still get one shot by aliens and explosions and robots, but it doesn't matter. I mean, that's on very hard. I don't know about very easy, but it's a really good perk for damage. Now, if we add Concealment 4, which is a stealth attack, your light attack headshots deal 4,187 damage. Your body shots 2,010. Your heavy headshots from sneak 8,842 and 4,421 for a body shot. Absolutely devastating. So I've been testing with buff food or I don't know if it's like something with elevation or bugging out. But when I do stealth attacks with the 25% damage buff items available, it seems to be nerfing the damage most of the time. I can sometimes get it to work with body shots. Uh, no, not in that case. Yeah, that's uh, that's very low. That was a heavy attack, by the way. And uh, you could be saying, well, it's because you have a companion. No, it, she is set to hold. And it could be because she's staring right at me or something. But uh, no, it's... Like, see, that did, that dealt 6,000. That's without the buff food. But when I had the buff food active, it was hitting for less. I managed to get it to hit for more one time at 7.7k. But uh, it's... I don't know, it's weird. It's, it's behaving oddly. Now, there's a few other ways to buff your damage 
besides what I'm showing in today's video. There are magazines scattered around the world that increase your melee damage, so these numbers aren't exactly absolute. Also, in the game files, apparently there's a stronger melee weapon. It's right here. Uh, this one, 500 tooltip damage. The one I have equipped is 247. So it might be possible to double these numbers. I've never found the fifth tier of a melee weapon. I don't think it exists. It still says advanced, so I don't know if it's just a hidden modifier, but it is in the game files, so it may exist somewhere. I haven't found it. I don't know where it's at. But let me show you those numbers one last time because that's what you came here for. Starting out with the best melee weapon in the game. This is how hard your light attacks and heavy attacks will do. Pretty good, respectable damage. But when you get dueling up, you can see the damage start to really ramp up around dueling level 3. And then if you have armor penetration, it doesn't do anything. So don't, don't worry about getting armor pin. Though this could be wrong. I would have to test it on armored targets, which I don't have access to. And then dueling 3, isolation 4. Isolation 4 really pushes the damage huge, even for light attacks. Uh, so I'm going to tell you right now that I haven't met a companion yet in this game that has good DPS and smart AI. So isolation is the way to go. And uh, you, like I said, you can still have a ship crew. You just tell your companion to wait or don't have one that follows you. And then, of course, with concealment for it gets ridiculously stinky, stupid, you know, multiple thousands of damage. So there you go. That's the video. Hopefully you learned something about melee weapon builds. Are they viable? I don't really think so because with no specialization, I can just pull out one of these weapons and uh, the damage is just insane. So... Uh, I don't really see a point in using melee weapons at all, especially if you get close. Also, there are powers in this game, but the only good one for melee would be the one that slows down time. Not really that useful otherwise. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be covering all the other weapons. Pistols, rifles, sniper rifles, machine guns, heavy weapon, grenade launchers, grenade throwing, mines. There, there's a whole lot of damage things to cover, so hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. I read every comment. I know I'm like almost to 100,000 subscribers, but I have no life, no friends. I read every single one of your comments. And finally, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. If you don't click it, they're going to change all the weapon values and these videos will become useless. And no, that's stupid. You'll just trip and fall and bump your head and forget everything. So make sure you click it. I mean everything, like how to count, how to speak, how to eat, how to breathe. You're going to forget all of that if you don't click the video. Alright, so I needed 16 more seconds of footage because videos have to be 8 minutes long for YouTube to have maximum reach and algorithms and all that kind of goofy fun stuff. So I'm just going to use this poison auto shotgun on Sarah and spray her full of green juice for 16 seconds. There we go, we did it, lads.